What's up y'all, it's your girl Jermaine Jackson, here to show you guys a quick makeup look when traveling. So first I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Hydrating Gel. It's a silicone base and absolutely wonderful for the skin, super moisturizing, and I like to go on and put that everywhere and let it sit for a second before I put my makeup on. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Medium Deep and my Sephora 91 brush. I absolutely love this brush, kind of addicted. <laughs> but I'm pushing it into my skin and kind of just prepping the entire face for makeup. So next I'm going with my favorite concealer of all time right now. This is the Kat Von D Lock It in the shade D37 Warm. Putting it under my eyes where I have some discoloration and a lot of puffiness. And then I'm going to top it with my NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW08. I have been loving this and I think it's a great drugstore dupe for the NARS. Taking my damp beauty blender now, I'm going to go on and just blend it on out. Blending is the most important part of your makeup, honey. Honey, if you do not blend, what are you doing? As you can see, I'm just going to go on and put a little bit everywhere, here and there, and everywhere else. Blend it for the gods. I'm also going to take a little bit extra and put it over my lip and also underneath my lip because I do have some discoloration under there. Clearly, I was in a dancing mood. I'm not quite sure, but um, I'm going to go on and keep blending. Make sure that my uh, base is good, that there's no creasing and stuff. So now I'm going back in with that Laura Mercy A and I'm patting it into my skin, really making sure that I set. I like to look up and press it into my eyes to make sure that it really is getting in those creases, making sure that I'm not going to have any creasing later. This was like at 7, 6 something in the morning and I needed this makeup to last me all day long, girl. So now I'm going in my CoverGirl Queen bronzer in shape Ebony and just an angle brush. I really kind of like to bronze more than I like to contour. I kind of like that summer look all year round and so I'm just going in with the hollows of going in the hollows of my cheek and just doing a little bit of contour give me some of that melanin glow because summer is gone and I'm sad I'm also going to go in on my nose because I just like to contour my nose it's an extra step you don't got to do it boo but I like to give my nose a little bit more definition so now I'm going to go in with my gold deposit from MAC and my Sephora, I don't know, brush, 57 brush, and I'm just going to go on and highlight because highlighting is necessary. So now I'm taking this Maybelline Master Studio, uh, Master Shape Eye Studio Deep Brown. It's for my eyebrows. Uh, it was my first time using it, and the product was okay. Yep, that's me freaking out. Um, the product was okay, but I really love my Milani more for my eyebrows. I just couldn't find it at the moment when I was filming, so I tried something new. Not bad. Um... It's definitely, I need to work with it like a little bit more because as you can see, it was very like, I don't know, hard to kind of get the product out or something. I don't know. I tend to like things that are a little bit more pigmented. Anyway, going with my Black Radiance and Toasted Almond, I'm putting that over. It's a beautiful blush, super cheap, inexpensive, love it. So highlight is for the gods. So I took my Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shape Prosecco Pop, added a little bit more onto my cheeks. And then the final touch de resistance was my Maybelline lipstick in the color Raging Raisin. Um, I thought originally it was going to be more of a brown, but as you can see, it's a beautiful kind of mauve shade. Very great for the eye, for the eyes, for the face. And um, just awesome. I thought it was really pretty. I thought it looks great on the skin and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.